So we gotta start here. We apply the one leg X like this. We gotta keep this leg really high, okay? So what I gotta do now, I'm gonna bring my knee a little bit towards me here, and I'm gonna cup this leg right here. So like a tripod, so I put my foot on his uh, hips. I can control my leg like this, okay? Of course, like I can go for the knee ripping here, but I go for a heel hook. But sometimes like, you gotta do like this because you have like a really strong leg, okay? So I'm gonna catch the other leg. So I'm gonna control both legs. So first, I'm just gonna hold here. I'm gonna put my, my elbow on the floor. So just to give a support to my leg. So if you try to put the weight on me, I can rest my leg on my hand right here on my arm, on my forearm, okay? Sometimes if I just fight like this, you start putting the weight on me, put the weight, I start getting tired, okay? So it's harder for him to clean my hook if I have this, this hand right here. Okay, right now I grab his uh, wrist right here on this side. Okay, I can get like right now really quick at the same time that I'm bringing my leg under my hook here, you see? This is the hook, this leg will go under and I'll hook this leg right here, okay? Now I'll force my opponent to pose the hand on the floor, like this way, okay? okay. So I'll try to bring his hand to the floor here. So I'm here. I can actually sometimes like grab him and try to sweep him this way. He's gonna start leaning to the other side and I'll go like this, okay? So once I'm here, I bring my knees to my chest and I kick the leg that was on his waist right here under and I'll get the figure four. Okay, just like that, okay? So once I'm here, I can start working on the submission, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pass this leg to the other side, okay? Cross his leg here. And then I'll take this foot, okay? So now, tap it out, okay? So I can keep my leg here, goes like this. It doesn't need to be like a triangle, okay? So I prefer actually to be like this, okay? With my heels on the floor, pinch my knees really hard. And this leg right here, I'm gonna keep like under my, my armpit right here as well, on the other side. And the reason that I clean this leg here on this side is to not let my opponent defend. So if I keep the, if he keeps the leg on this side, maybe he's gonna work with the leg to defend, even though it's really hard. So we can go for a knee bar right here too, like this. Okay, but the heel hook is better, right? So I'm here, cross his leg to the other side, control. I can underhook his leg, now I go here. Once I secure the hook, the, the heel, okay? Just my wrist under his, under his ankle right here, control the hands together. Squeeze, and then you move your wrist like this, okay? And now it's torque, okay? So if you put your back flat on the floor, it's gonna hurt even more, so you go like this, okay? Because then like his toes goes down. So you must have a really heavy armpit on top of his big toe, okay? So that way you build the motion that will torque his knee, okay? So his knee's gonna be like this. Please, okay? one more time. So I'm here, on bottom. So I go for the X guard. So I can start from here, okay? I grab under his knee and the other hand I pose. Now I shoot on this leg here, pulling myself underneath of him, like this, okay? Once I get here, I get the tripod, control. He's gonna try to clean this foot right here. I'm gonna grab his wrist, okay? Now I start like opening his knee outside, like this. Kinda like I wanna sweep in that way. So you create a reaction here. So now I'll be, bring him back, underhook his leg here as I ankle lock, and put my foot under my hook right here. So now I bring my knee to my chest, and kick the leg through. So now I got the honey hole, okay, or sun back or whatever you like to call it. Okay, once I got here, click the leg to the other side. I like to grab here, pinch my elbows, and then finish, okay? Get the heel hook. All right, question? Yes. Are you squeezing your knee to the hamstring or? No, I like to stretch my leg forward like this, okay? And then pinch my knees together, okay? I feel like when you go like this, I feel he can spin like, like this, you see? Yeah. So I like, I like to be here. In this case, it's like it'll be on this side, right? I like to squeeze like, I can even like move like this back. Okay, that way like I stretch my leg, pinch my knees. Now it's really hard for me to move. Like right here. Finish him, okay? All right, one more time. Step one, slide under, grab right here. Try to sweep first. The sweep is open his kneecap outside. I'll try to do this, okay? So once I'm here, every time that I try to do a sweep on my opponent, you react back, right? You always fight back. And I'll take advantage of that, okay? 
I gotta build that momentum. Bring my knees to my chest, get the honey hole, okay? Switch the side, off his leg, and now get the heel, okay? All right, on three. One, two, three. The first position, uh, it's like shooting myself inside, right? I'm here, I can grab his wrist when he tried to break my wrist, like he's gonna try to fight me. That's when I catch his leg and then I scoop under. Now I get the X guard, everyone got this, okay? Post my hand here. So I'm gonna, looking for like grabbing his wrist. Okay, right here. And when I grab, like put your, put your, your hand, his hand actually on your thigh like this, okay? So you're not gonna be here forever, of course, he can break your grip, but you, you gotta make your opponent move, okay? So right away, I'll try to sweep in this way, okay? If I succeed on the sweep, I just come up, right? I'm just gonna get the two points, okay? So and you actually needs to try to sweep. But notice that this leg right here will pass, this one will stay here. I'm not gonna do this, look, one and two. This is a traditional X guard, okay? We're gonna keep the left foot on his uh, hip right here, under his hip. And now look, this leg right here, you pass under, okay? The, leg, the outside leg goes under and you hook right here. That's the way, it's like a different way to get the, the X guard, okay? So now look, I need to bring my left leg, the leg that's under his hips right here, towards my chest, and then shoot the other leg through. And then I'll catch his thigh, okay? And notice that my knee is still on this side. I see some of you guys like doing this. This is bad, okay? It's not gonna work, right? So you always keep this frame here, right under his uh, hips, okay? The shin, the frame is the shin. So your frame doesn't go this way. Because now there's no frame, he can put the weight on me and gonna start smashing me, right? So let's just drill this part, okay? So you're gonna underhook here. I grab his wrist, control, I try to sweep. He's gonna, he's gonna fight back. At the time that I pass my leg under the other leg, my right leg under the left, look. Here, I underhook this foot, okay? So now look, I keep pushing him here. Elevate him, bring my knee to my chest, the left foot towards my chest, and, and stretch the other leg. But then my thigh goes around his thigh. And then I trap the figure four. Okay, that's how it's gonna look. And now, I'm gonna be here. All right, the great thing of this technique is you control both legs. There's like a hard way for, a hard time for opponent to defend. It's really hard to defend this. Okay, because they're attacking both legs. One leg help the other leg to defend. But because you control them both, it's really hard for you to escape. So once you get here, you can underhook here. That's like the other side, and then start attacking the, the heel, okay? All right, but let's just repeat this. So the first two minutes, two minutes, one person only, okay? So you're gonna start here. You go one, two, and then go back again. So just, just set up this over and over, okay? So I'm here, start to sweep, go back, look, underhook. Bring, like, bring my frame, my knee to my chest, and pass this bottle leg around, and the figure four, okay? Over and over, just this, and then go back again, okay? And then the other two minutes, the other person, and then we're gonna do the complete technique, three minutes back and forth, okay? All right, let's go one, two, three. If you don't understand this, it's gonna be hard for you to understand how to set up the, the hook from different ways, okay? So, the first is, the first thing you gotta think is, I wanna trap this, the farther leg, okay? That's the leg I wanna trap, all right? So this leg is here, it's just controlling, all right? And if I trap the leg, it's hard for him to escape, okay? So I got here on the one leg X, I control his wrist, okay? Of course, he can stay really tall right here. If he stay really tall, just start like pushing that way, okay? So he's gonna try to come back. And even if you have the knee on the floor, put your knee on the floor here, I can still work on the position. I, cut, I go for the ankle lock here and then hook his leg right here. Yeah, I keep moving this way. And then look, this hand right here can catch this leg as well. So the one that is a uh, cup here, or got the, the ankle, I can catch his leg here. And now I shoot my leg through and then I got the position. Okay, so I'm on the figure four. So notice that my left leg doesn't move at all. Doesn't, you don't move this leg, this leg is frozen. So just this leg here moves, okay? Just the, the outside leg. 
My outside leg is here, my outside leg goes here, my outside leg shoot through. That's it. Okay. So sometimes you're here, you're gonna try to sweep the opponent, you can put the knee on the floor, it works really well with the knee on the floor as well. So you grab the wrist, okay? You cup, you go for the ankle and then you're here. So now you try to move this way. Okay? So you bring your knees to your chest and then you can reach his leg with your, your right hand right here. And then kick the leg through and now you're here. Okay, it's the same position. So you cannot like be leaning towards the outside because then he can start escaping here. So you want to like to lean more like towards him and stretch the leg here. Okay, try to keep your foot on the floor here as well. All right, now is the time that you can start underhooking his leg or you can just drag his leg to the other <laughs> side and start applying the heel hook, okay? And every time you go for the heel hook, your, your opponent will try to move that way, like this, okay? You can like, follow him belly down, but once you stop belly down, don't move. Let's say he goes that way, like this, go, 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 I stop here. And I don't move anymore. Because if I keep spinning, and then he's gonna escape, okay? So once you don't bat it down, like just stay there and then squeeze and work his leg. Okay, work his leg. You guys understand? All right, now I'll do the same thing, but now the, the person on top drop the knee on the floor. So I drop my knee on the floor just so I can have more base. Okay, we'll go down. So if, if he goes for the X card here, I'm standing, and he starts moving me here, I, start like I feel uncomfortable, I, I go like this. So he's gonna cut my right on my butt right here, the middle of my butt, and I'll just like move it around inside and catch my leg here, okay? And now, the trapping. So it's very important to bring your knee to your chest too. From here to here. You see like that, uh, our crew got like a little bit of trouble like to go with the leg through, okay? So it's very important like to move a little bit this way, okay? And then bring your knees to your chest before you kick the leg through, like this catch his leg. Okay, so it's gonna be easier for you, all right? So once you're here, then you start the attack. You can go straight forward here, or you can cross his leg to the other side first, which is gonna be like, just this foot here on this side, so you can attack him and be fighting on the floor, okay? All right, let's work more on this, and then we're gonna work on Thursday as well, more positions from that situation, okay? So one, two, three.